and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how easy it is to subscribe to this channel. Now pay close attention. At the beginning of the video, you should see a little box in the top right corner. Click on this, and that'll take you to this page. At this point there, you just click that, and hey Pesto, you've subscribed. As an added bonus, if I manage to reach 100 subscribers, by the start of September 2013, I'm going to send all my subscribers a very special thank you video. Don't forget, if you wish to discuss any of the matters discussed in the show, you can email me here at Daily Visual Bible by using this address. Now let's do the right thing, and I'm God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis Chapter 27 When Isaac was old, and his eyes were dim, so that he could not see, he called Esau his elder son, and said to him, My son? He said to him, Here I am. Isaac said, See now, I am old. I don't know the day of my death. Now therefore, please take your weapons, your quiver and your bow, and go out to the field, and take me venison. Make me savoury food such as I love, and bring it to me, that I may eat, and that my soul may bless you before I die. Rebekah heard when Isaac spoke to Esau his son. Esau went to the fields to the hunt for venison, and to bring it. Rebekah said to Jacob her son, saying, Behold, I heard your father speak to Esau your brother, saying, Bring me venison, and make me savoury food that I may eat. And bless you before Yahweh before my death. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice according to that which I command you. Go not to the flock, and get me from there two good young goats. I will make them savoury food for your father, such as he loves. You shall bring it to your father, that he may eat, so that he may bless you before his death. Jacob said to Rebekah his mother, Behold, Esau, my brother, is a hairy man, and I am a smooth man. What if my father touches me? I will seem to him as a deceiver, and I will bring a curse on myself, and not a blessing. His mother said to him, Let your curse be on me, my son, only obey my voice, and go get them for me. He went and got them, and brought them to his mother. His mother made savoury food such as his father loved. Rebekah took the good clothes of Esau, her elder son, which were with her in the house, and put them on Jacob, her younger son. She put the skins of the young goats on his hands, and on the smooth of his neck. She gave the savoury food and the bread, which she had prepared into the hand of her son Jacob. He came to his father and said, My father? Isaac said, here I am. Who are you, my son? Jacob said to his father, I am Esau, your firstborn. I have done what you asked me to do. Please arise, sit, and eat my venison, that your son may bless me. Isaac said to his son, How is it that you have found it so quickly, my son? He said, Because Yahweh, your God, gave me success. Isaac said to Jacob, Please come near, that I may feel you, my son whether you are really my son Esau or not. Jacob went near to Isaac his father. He felt him and said, The voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are they hands of Esau. He didn't recognize him, because his hands were hairy, like his brother Esau's hands. So he blessed him. He said, Are you really my son Esau? Jacob said, I am. He said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's venison that my soul may bless you. He brought it near to him, and he ate. He brought him wine, and he drank. His father Isaac said to him, Come near now, and kiss me, my son. He came near and kissed him. He smelled the smell of his clothing, and blessed him, and said, Behold, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field, which Yahweh has blessed. God give you, of the dew of the sky, of the fatness of the earth, and plenty of grain and new wine. 
Let people serve you. The nations bow down to you. Be Lord over your brothers. Let your mother's sons bow down to you. Cursed be everyone who curses you. Blessed be everyone who blesses you. As soon as Isaac had finished blessing Jacob, and Jacob had just gone out from the presence of Isaac his father, Esau his brother came in from his hunting. He also made savoury food and brought it to his father. He said to his father, Let my father arise and eat of his son's venison, that your son may bless me. Isaac his father said to him, Who are you? He said, I am your son, your firstborn, Esau. Isaac trembled violently and said, Who then is he who has taken venison and brought it to me, and I have eaten all of it before you came, and have blessed him? Yes, he will be blessed. When Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with an exceeding great and bitter cry, and said to his father, Bless me, even me also, my father. Isaac said, Your brother came with deceit, and has taken away your blessing. Esau said, Isn't he rightly named Jacob? For twice now he has supplanted me. He took away my birthright. See now he has taken away my blessing. Often you reserved a blessing for me. Isaac answered Esau, Behold, I have made him your lord, and all his brothers I have given to him for servants. With grain and new wine I have sustained him. What then will I do for you, my son? Esau said to his father, Have you but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, my father. Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Isaac his father answered, Behold, the fatness of the earth will be your dwelling, and of the dew of the sky from above, by your sword will you live, and you will serve your brother. It will happen, when you break loose, that you shall shake his yoke from off your neck. Esau hated Jacob, because of the blessing with which his father blessed him. Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then I will kill my brother Jacob. Words of Esau, her elder son, were told to Rebekah. She sent and called Jacob. Her younger son had said to him, Behold, your brother Esau comforts himself about you by planning to kill you. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice. Arise, free to Laban, my brother in Haran. Stay with him a few days, until your brother's fury turns away, until your brother's anger turns away from you. And if he gets what you have done to him, then I will send and get you from there. Why should I be bereaved of you both in one day? Rebecca said to her Isaac, I am weary of my life because of the daughters of Heth. If Jacob takes a wife of the daughters of Heth, such as these, of the daughters of the land, what good will is my life for me?